to another video. Um, you have to excuse me, I'm very tired today. My boys have got sick bugs, so I'm just really tired at the moment, which is one reason why this video is a day late. But I just want to show you these beautiful pudding gels from Madame Glam. So they sent me them a while ago and I haven't actually done anything with them yet apart from swatch them. So they are like solid cream gels. They're actually really, I really like them to work with. I have swatched them and I'm just going to show you them today so that I don't leave it any longer before showing you. I will do something with them eventually, but this is the pale green one. There are six colours and they're only available to VIPs. Um, so if you are a Madame Glam VIP, you can get your hand. This colour is absolutely beautiful. This is the teal one. And then they've got a gorgeous peanut one. You only need to use thin coats of these. Um, so two or three thin coats and you've got yourself a beautiful swatch. So this one is cinnamon. I love cinnamon. It's like my like the actual spice i love it oh it's delicious so that's cinnamon that's like a darker brown and then there is the there's a white and a black so this is the white one and i love the little pots they come in as well they're very posh posh little pots and then the black so there's only six colors but i don't know i don't know whether they're like if they're going to bring out more colors or if they're just sort of testing the waters with these i'm not sure but those are the pudding gels they're beautiful solid cream gels so they won't leak um in the pot or anything if you knock them over but the colors i'm using today are old school i missed the first one i missed them <laughs> uh i missed them but they're they're, they're madam glam colors obviously um this colour, this darker colour, oh, I can't even remember what they were. I'm going to do two coats of this one. I will have put, I will put them on the screen. So if I, if I just because I haven't said them, the I'll put the the, the the names will be on the screen when I show you them. So yeah. So this one is old school, and I think the glittery one is fancy pants, but I'm not sure. So I done a video with these these glitter gels when they were first released but i forgot to mention that they are the like the flash reflective glitters they're absolutely amazing and i didn't show you that in the, the video that i used them before so i'm gonna i've gone ahead this is two coats this is two coats um i just didn't show you me doing the second um this darker nail i am gonna put a like a glitter ombre so i am putting the glitter at the top not working it all the way down the bottom i'm going to cure that and then i'm going to do another coat but i'm not going to work this one down as far so we've got a, a, a bit of a glitter fade going on so that's going to go in the lamp madam glam gel polish is cure for 30 seconds in an led lamp so i'm also going to use perfect white for this so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put, I'm going to do a marble, you know me in marbles. I'm going to put a line of each, actually I put two lines of each colour on the palette in the end. But before I continue putting the colours on, I decided to put the blooming gel. Hang on, I do, I do do it in a minute, I promise I'm not, there we go, this is the blooming gel. Um, I'm going to put this on the nail first so that it's ready to go. So you don't need masses of this, you just need a nice thin even coat across the nail if you're doing this over a, a color you put your color on first and then put your blooming gel on um so i've done all the colors that i showed you plus the white plus a bit of that reflective glitter and i'm picking the colors up and i'm floating them over more than brushing them on and then yeah we're just gonna yeah i'm picking it up with my ombre brush by the way and then to stop the nail from being too bulky, um, you can do this with a gloved finger. I'm just pressing gently against the side with a wipe and that's just going to remove any excess gel polish. And also it will kind of help the marble from, it will help it like to spread a little bit. And then I'll pop that in the lamp. Okay, so I'm getting ahead of myself now. I'm moving on quite quickly. Um, I've got these little trinket things 
Um, you can get these from eBay. You can get these from everywhere. They're kind of they come already curved, so they fit nicely on the curve of the nail. Um, if they don't, you can just curve them a little bit more. So to apply this to the nail, I'm just putting on a little bit of base coat. Well, you can get 30% off any Madame Glam gel polishes, by the way, using my code NATMUG30. Or you can become a VIP member. Um, they take $29 from your account every month. But that by doing that, it means you get 50% off everything on their website. So it's worth it. And what that do that $29 will be stored up in your account. So if you don't use it for a few months, you'll have like $29 times two or three or whatever. Um, however many months you've not used it for so it builds up and then you can just splurge which is quite nice so i've put matte top coat over this nail and then i'm using i think it's fancy pants um i'm using that to that's going to go in the center of our little trinket thing and it's going to look a bit like a gemstone i'm just letting gravity do its thing but you can use a brush the brush is quicker <laughs> I'm just making sure that it covers. I don't want it to go over the, the the trinket thing, the silver, but I want it to, you know, I want it to be fully spread out as much as it can be. And I'm going to cure that in the lamp. I'm going to put a little bit of no wipe top coat on my palette. And then I'm just going to top coat the glitter. And I'm going to go over the trinket because I want the... I say the trinket, the oval silver thing. I want it to be shiny, not matte finished. But when you do this, be careful because you only want to go over the metal thing. You don't want to go onto the actual base colour of the nail, that old school colour, okay? Right, then we're going to use some violet Preciosa crystals. I get these from Crystal Parade and some silver caviar beads you can use code nat5 to save five percent when you buy your caviar uh, when you buy your crystals and caviar beads from crystal parade but first we're gonna top coat we're gonna have a bit of top coat tan so the nails um right i'm not gonna do the nail that i done that overly trinket thing on because obviously we finished that nail now the this the nail with all the glitter, all the nails with the, sorry, I can't, I'm so tired, I can't get my words out. Right, all the nails with the glitter on are going to be shiny, because obviously that's like the law. So the, these are hollow reflective glitters, so hollow needs to be shiny in my opinion. And then the nail on the far left there, the plain coloured nail, is going to be velvet matted. Do I do anything else on that nail? I don't know if I do. I don't think I do actually. I just think I leave it matte finished. Okay, so they're going to go into the lamp for 30 seconds. And then we can work on our crystal placement. So I'm going to do... I don't know if you've seen my Instagram or my Facebook page. Um, not the group, the actual page. Oh, actually, I think it's in the group as well. But I was playing with these little trinkets. I've done a few, uh, about three designs. Um using different shaped trinket things metal shaped things um and different crystals but this one i'm gonna do like the i call it a witch's peak <laughs> i've got a witch's peak they call it a witch's peak on my forehead my hairline curves down in the middle um but i'm gonna use the violet i think it was violet preciosa crystals i'm not using sometimes i'll use different colors but i'm only going to use the violet ones today and we're just gonna go uh, where I've put the gem glue. You can see I've the the shape of the gem glue. I'm gonna just fill that with the crystals, and I will also add some caviar beads at the end. I do go out of shot actually adding the caviar beads, so I don't know that I show that. I hate it when I go out of shot. It's really annoying, but I do it a lot. I don't mean to. It just kind of happens. <laughs> It's just one of those things. Um, by the way, um, regarding tomorrow's video and Friday's video, I'm really going to try, but I don't know if I'm going to get them done. I will definitely get a video for Friday, but I, yeah, things are a little bit, ooh, here because the kids are real, but I'll see how I go. Right, this is the finished set. I'll give you a quick close-up. Here they are. Right, I said before they're flash reflective, so I'm going to make them, I'm going to put my, the flash on my phone on and turn my lamp off so you can have a look in about now there we go 
anyway they're amazing i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free and you can always change your mind later though i'd rather you didn't thanks for watching and i'll see you beautiful lot hopefully tomorrow <laughs> love you all bye